Welcome to Brain Booster. Ever wondered about the life of the boy king, King Tut? He, who was born during ancient Egypt's 18th dynasty, started his life under a different name, Tutankhaten. Born in an era that stretched from 1550 BC to 1295 BC, the young king's life was destined to be extraordinary. The boy who would be king didn't remain Tutankhaten for long. In a significant move, he changed his name to Tutankhamun, becoming the living image of Amun, the Egyptian god of the air. This wasn't his only name change though, he also took on the throne name, Nebkepirur, echoing the old sun god Re. As he stepped into adulthood, he married Ankhesenamun, a daughter of the controversial Akhenaten and the beautiful queen Nefertiti. Though their union was not blessed with surviving children, it marked a significant chapter in Tutankhamun's life. Despite being one of the lesser-known pharaohs of his time, King Tut's reign is a subject of immense historical interest. King Tut's reign, though fairly unremarkable, has been a matter of great speculation among historians. Some believe he was used as a puppet by royal advisors and priests to reclaim power. The young pharaoh ruled for only about nine years, and compared to other pharaohs of his time, he was lesser known. This less prominent position in the royal hierarchy could have made him susceptible to manipulation by powerful figures within the court. There's another theory that historians have pondered upon. It suggests that Tut's successors might have deliberately removed his name from monuments and records. This was possibly due to his association with the reviled Akhenaten, a pharaoh known for his religious revolution that placed the sun god, Aten, above all other deities. Such an erasure could have been an attempt to distance the kingdom from Akhenaten's controversial reign. But ironically, this erasure might have been a blessing in disguise for King Tut's legacy. While most of the tombs in the Valley of the Kings were looted over the centuries that followed, Tut's tomb was left relatively unspoiled. This allowed for an astonishing discovery of treasures when his tomb was unearthed by British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922. These treasures have since sparked a renewed interest in the life and times of King Tut. While King Tut's reign was short, the discovery of his nearly intact tomb has allowed us to gain a fascinating glimpse into the life and times of this young pharaoh. One of the most intriguing aspects of King Tut's life is the mystery surrounding his death. Theories have abounded ever since British archaeologist Howard Carter discovered Tut's tomb in 1922. Some have suggested foul play, proposing that the young pharaoh may have been murdered. Others believe he fell victim to malaria or another devastating disease that was rampant during his reign. Yet another theory has emerged over the years, suggesting that King Tut may have met his untimely end due to an accidental injury. Some experts point to physical evidence found on his mummified remains, such as missing ribs and a sternum, implying that his chest might have been crushed in an unfortunate accident or fall from his chariot. Furthermore, the presence of a clubfoot and multiple canes found in his tomb suggests that King Tut may have been an invalid, struggling with physical impairments throughout his life. This theory, while not universally accepted, adds another layer of intrigue to the mystery of King Tut's death. As we delve deeper into the life and death of this iconic pharaoh, we are reminded of how much we still have to learn about this fascinating era of human history. Despite the mystery surrounding his death, King Tutankhamun's life continues to fascinate us, offering a window into an era long past, yet enduring in our collective memory.